My name's Dovi and um, I'm part of a collective that runs out of off this property that's called Terraden Biotecture. And so what we do is um, we run educational courses and workshops to um, help people empower themselves with different skills that will uh, enable them to live off grid more comfortably. So basically um, we do things like natural building, land design, food security, um, design uh, like holistic design processes. So um, the main thing that we teach here is something that I came up with which is called the living home design concept. And what it is, it basically covers the individual's um, journey starting with self and the process goes all the way down the track until you end up with a physical home and land site. So it covers things like um, self-purpose, you know, where you gain your um, inspiration from and how you can turn that inspiration into design features in your home, um, you know, research and development. So it covers things like um, ancient tribes who lived in your area, how they used to how they used to live and how you can draw inspiration for that in a contemporary setting. Um, speaking to like all the old you know farmers and that sort of stuff in your area and how they've dealt how they've dealt with the different conditions because you know people sometimes they'll come and move to an area like this like Nimbin and they'll be like oh great I saw this way that they build on the television and it looks really cool I'll just do it there but then they don't know like you know here like you've got white ants you've got humidity water and you know acidic soil and all this sort of stuff so um, you know, so the, the process helps people discover who they are, where they want to head and how they can communicate that in their own living, uh, living environment. So that's basically what we teach here and then we give people hands on, you know, physical designs, uh, physical building skills, you know, whether it's, um, you know, cob or super adobe bottle walls, gardening, all these different types of skills that people can arm themselves with and interpret it in whichever kind of way works for them. So that's basically what we do. At the moment, so we're at the last stage of the August um, course session that we're running here, and and so um, people have come here this week um, from all over the place. We got a guy from Argentina, there was a lady from Brazil, uh, Western Australia, uh, Melbourne, all over the place. So people apply from all over and. They've come here and, and basically we've done stuff like, um, we've done cob. So I do a um, subtropical um, version of cob to handle the conditions around here. Cause you know, with, with the humidity we get here, sometimes cob isn't that suitable. So um, what I've done is add a percentage of charcoal to it. And what the charcoal does, it absorbs the moisture so that way it can keep the wall more stable and that sort of thing. So they've done cob, they've done bottle walls. Over at Ian and Caroline's site, they did can walls, tire pounding, um, super adobe. And um, then we do daily classroom sessions. So every day we run a session on design or application and um, we cater the course. So it's fully catered for breakfast, lunch and dinner and refreshments in between and everything we make is as local and organic as possible. Um, really good food, it's not just like vegan slop, we do like, you know, there's always a really delicious meat dish, sometimes there's fish and, um, you know, also vegetarian and vegan stuff and we cater to any diet and that sort of thing, so we, we try to feed people really well 
So they've, you know, that gives them the fuel and the motivation to learn more and be more productive. And so we also get guest speakers. So we had um, a guy come give us a, um, a talk on, on water. So on basically on uh, water, water energetics and different miraculous properties of water. We had another lady come who was a mycologist and spoke to people about um, you know mushroom and mushrooms and mushroom science so we, we get people like all across the board coming and talking about different areas of sustainability and so people come and get like a broad range of all these different techniques and um, you know and so they walk away and they've got something to start with so that's what we try to do we you know people that, that have never done any of this lived in the city or whatever their whole life they can come out here and get a starting point so they're not just walking in with like a loaded gun and a blindfold not knowing who to shoot <laughs> that sort of thing Um, you know, if you want to live, you know, sustainably or whatever kind of, um, you know, buzzword you want to use, um, maybe something that you could do is to ask yourself what it is that you, well, you know, why do you want to live this sort of lifestyle? Because it is a, it is harder than living a regular, you know, life in the city and all that, where you get up and everything's provided for. So, something that I've, I've come across with people is that. Um, they want to live off grid and sustainably in response to you know how shitty their life has been up until that point so they're like oh i want to live in a in a mud house because i've had to work 40 hours a week for someone i hate to pay for kids who i don't like and a wife who doesn't have sex with me anymore and so <laughs> i've got to i've got to get away from all that and just live in the forest and not you know so people do it in, as a reaction so you've got to sort of like um, I think a good place to start with is to discover yourself who you are and what you actually really want out of life and um, you know think about the quality if you could narrow it down to one word so you know if I was to say to someone um, you know what do you want out of life they'll say oh, a house and chickens and you know a bloody a water slide made out of jelly or <laughs> whatever and so you know you ask them why and so you keep asking yourself why until it break, it usually breaks down to one word, whether it's happiness or fulfillment or whatever your word is, you know, you find that word and then from there, you can then start to research and discover what it is that you wanna do. So once you've got your word, you, you ask yourself, all right, is this next move I'm making, is this going to fully serve, you know, where I'm going in life? So I think if I was going to send a message out to people, it would be um, if you're going to take on any kind of mission in your, in your life, just um, keep checking in with yourself and ask yourself, you know, is this path really serving where I want to go or am I just taking the easy way out?